Hello everyone, uh, Gas Mask Guys here today with another video and another mask. Today I have the Hungarian M76, I'm pretty sure, or 67. I don't know, I just, I kind of woke up, I'm not too sure. As you can see, we're on the exact same set from yesterday, um, which probably was last week. I don't know what, uh, how I'm going to upload these videos in the future, but you get what I mean. So I'm a bit tired, M67 or M76, I think it's the M76, but if I'm wrong, so be it. My bad. Yeah, anyway, this is a pretty cool mask. I thought I might as well do a video on. It's been sitting on my bench uh, for a long time. And you know what? Let's do a video on it. I don't know too much about this mask. All I know is uh, Hung the Hungarians de uh, developed it from the uh, earlier designs from the post-war. So the 19 in 1920, uh, 1926, they made the M26. I think that's what it's called. And it's basically this mask, but with different features and a different exhale valve. So as you can see, this is a standard Warsaw Pact intake exhale valve. Like it's based off of the uh, SHMS design. And um, it's, it's it's reliable, but the older design was kind of better. Like it would let in more air and stuff. Yeah. As you can see, we can take anti-fog lenses. It's got those GP5 inlets in there. So you could put anti-fog in there. That's how you can tell it was developed for um, both military and civilian use. Truth be told, I actually only think this was used for civilian use. Because it's a very... Look, look at this design. This design has been around since World War One. This is pretty much a World War One gas mask, but newer. Now, this is perfect for any military enthusiast because... Um, Let's say you wanted this mask um, for, let's say, Battlefield 1 cosplay, but you didn't want to get a replica GM-17 or any of those other masks because they're like 100 bucks. You can find these for around $60, and they're actual working masks. They still have seal. They come with a filter and carrier as well. Sometimes the uh, it's either the bag carrier or it doesn't come with a carrier at all. Anyway, it's a pretty cool mask for that. That's why I bought it for Battlefield cosplay, Battlefield 1 cosplay. That I actually ne never uh, did because it was too hot on the day um, it was released. Because I live in Australia at the moment. I do variate between the US and Australia uh, regularly. So that's why in future I'm going to do a shooting video or um, a few videos in the US in future. But I probably won't release them for a while simply because... I don't know. I I feel like we should keep this more on gas masks than anything else. But if you guys want to see a gas mask shooting video or gas mask airsoft, uh, by the way, if I was doing airsoft, I'd be like shooting at a lake. I wouldn't actually be in an airsoft match with a gas mask. But you get the idea. If you want to see that, just tell me. I'll probably do one in the future. I've got... Yeah. Now, the... Um, Pros and cons. Let's go to the pros and cons of this. The Hung the Hungarian mask is what you call it? It's very simple. Uh, okay, so let's go into the. This is a pro and a con. It's very simple in design. It's more complex than GP5. I will give it that. But it's a simple design. And you see, it's got canvas and rubber mixed in. Here's this one's a size four, so it's a really big size. It. Um, it's got these nice and comfortable seal things. It's like a leather or suede. I don't know. It feels really comfy like my couch. Um, you got the leather back strap here with these um, these OD green straps. It's a five-star system, so five-clasp uh, system. So it will take an Israeli back strap if you're that desperate, but I wouldn't suggest it. It's got these hinges here so you can attach this around your neck. So it will stay secure. You've got this that will attach around your neck so you don't need a bag. The Hungarians developed this so you could carry your mask with you at all times. So if you needed to don it, you would just slip it over your head and you're ready to go. Which actually, in high school, I wore this, I brought this for a bit in 2013 when I first got it. And um, I would wear it around my neck or on class and people were like, that's pretty cool. And, you know what, it is a cool mask for that. Um, here's just a plain con. Uh, con is it's probably going to have a lot of talcum and nasty stuff in it. Now, the filters did contain asbestos. However, most of these masks were not used, so you might be lucky. 
but it will definitely have talc. Now, I've cleaned this one out, but there's still like a nasty dust in there. So you just need to make sure you give it a good clean. Don't feel, don't feel bad to douse it in water. It's fine. It, it will survive it. It dries really well. And yeah. Okay, let's go into some pros. That's pretty much all the cons I can think of besides that. Um, pros. Cool looking design. It has... Back straps that will not deteriorate. Back straps that are breathable, functional. So if you're in Australia or a hot country, it'll be fine. It does not. So you see these cracks? That's the only rubber on the outside. This mask does not really break, if that makes sense. Because of this canvas, if it did rip on the inside, the rubber, it wouldn't be sealed. But the canvas keeps the mask from falling apart, which is really cool. So it could deteriorate, and your mask would still be able to be used as a costume uh, piece. Which is one thing I love about this mask is it's it's pretty durable. It, so long as the canvas holds, it will hold. Um, it's it's just it has a badass factor to it that it looks like it's from World War One. It is pretty much a World War One design. And yeah, that's pretty much about it. It's cool to have. It's um, a good alternative to a expensive replica. And it's the original mask. So if you're looking for um, a Battlefield 1 mask, go get one of these. They have them with the black, um, what's it called? black intake valves everywhere. They're really good. You can find them from $30 to $60 in Australia. Um, in other, yeah, so anyway. Anyway, that's a quick video on this awesome piece that I have. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. I'll catch you guys soon. See ya.